once again the cenotaph ceremony brings back a thousand thronging memories, recalling to the nation not the glory or the gains of war, but its losses and its sacrifices. Parliament is represented in the persons of Mr. Ramsay MacDonald, cabinet ministers and leaders of the opposition. From a balcony of the Home Office, the impressive ceremony is witnessed by Her Majesty the Queen and other members of the royal family. And as the great silence approaches, His Majesty lays a wreath. The hero warriors receive the tribute of their king. I should die, think only this of me, that there's some corner of a foreign field that is forever England. There shall be in that rich earth a richer dust concealed, a dust whom England bore, shaped, made aware, gave once her flowers to love, her ways to roam, a body of England's breathing English air, Washed by the rivers, blessed by sons of home. And think this heart, all evil shed away, a pulse in the eternal mind, no less, gives somewhere back the thoughts by England given, her sights and sounds, dreams happy as her day, and laughter learnt of friends, and gentleness in hearts at peace under an English heaven. <laughs> 